I started by cleaning all the jaff out of the roaster. I then gather up all the tools that I'm going to need for the clean. Once I've gathered my tools, I flip the roaster around and I release the impeller fan. This impeller fan is not too dirty, but it could use a clean. Then I remove the six screws that is holding the faceplate in place. I'm going to focus on cleaning all the oil and dirt and grime that is built up all around the sensors of this faceplate. Uh, also where the beans enter the roaster, the infrared sensor. And the thermocouple that senses the bean temperature. I've soaked my toothbrush in simple green and just start scrubbing the oil and grime off the faceplate. And after a few minutes of scrubbing, the faceplate's all clean. I use compressed air to just release any chaff that might be stuck in between the drum and the roaster. Next I remove the ball bearing and clean it with some rubbing alcohol. I found it to be pretty dirty. Once it's all clean, I reinsert it, give it a test, and then replace the faceplate, making sure that the faceplate and the drum are well aligned. Once I have the proper alignment, I replace the six screws. Now I turn the roaster back around and clean out the impeller fan housing. So I take some time to clean out the exhaust chute. I just use a bottle brush and remove any loose debris. I then focus on getting all the coffee bean oil off the impeller fan using a toothbrush and this really tiny bottle brush that I have. I also use the toothbrush to clean out the chaff filter. Oh my, look how clean. I replaced the clean fan and re-engage the set screw. Finally, I replace the roast door handle and turn the machine on just to test that the impeller fan is working and the drum is spinning freely. Everything looks good. We have a clean roaster. We've got a clean roast room. Things are back to square one. We're ready to start 
next month, the next, uh, the coming month in the Fat Beans Coffee Lab journey.